The American jobs engine keeps on revving. The economy created more than 260,000 jobs last month, a welcome rebound after September's disappointing report. To show you just how strong the labor market appears to be, take a look at this. The unemployment rate now stands at a 17-year low, and the economy has created jobs for 85 straight months, the longest streak on record. Some economists are even suggesting that the labor market may be close to full employment. But as Hampton Pearson reports, others say the recent hurricanes are distorting that data. In October, the job market recovered from the hurricanes that slammed the southeast in September. But the addition of 261,000 jobs was less than the consensus forecast of 315,000 new hires. Those estimates were revised upward this week based on new data forecasting strong private sector job growth, a manufacturing surge, and growing consumer confidence. One leading economist says that noise makes this month's report meaningless. I mean, there's too much hurricane effect in this. Uh, the non-farm payroll number was a complete guess. Uh, average hourly earnings uh, had some hurricane effect in it. The unemployment rate fell to 4.1 percent, the lowest it's been in nearly 17 years. But it fell because 765,000 people dropped out of the labor force and were not counted as unemployed. Wage growth was flat, just 2.4 percent year over year. Well, the lack of worker growth, too. I mean, the, the real problem we've got is that labor force is only up five tenths of a percent per year. And we've got all these dreams of getting to 3 percent real GDP growth. But I don't see how you get to 3 percent real GDP growth unless you can find a way of increasing the labor force faster than that. The leisure and hospitality industry saw the biggest employment swings, hurricane shutdowns triggering a loss of 98,000 jobs in September, but a rebound of 89,000 last month. The best high wage job growth happened among professional and business services with 50,000 new hires. Manufacturers also added 24,000 jobs. Retail was the biggest loser, dropping 8,300 workers. Economists say despite the volatility over the last two months, average job gains are almost back on track with job growth before the hurricanes. You get about 150,000 new jobs per month for the last two months. That's a quite good pace given where we are with such low unemployment and such uh, uh, modest growth of the labor force. Those same economists say the Fed will have another month of jobs data free of hurricane-related fallout before deciding on a rate hike when monetary policymakers meet in December. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.